hallo meine Lieben und herzlich willkommen zurück zu The Council. Und äh, ja, wir sind jetzt zum Essen eingeladen. Ähm ja, werden jetzt einfach mal gehen zum Essen. Begib dich in den roten Saal im Erdgeschoss. Na, sehr gerne. Monsignor, his eminence Cardinal Piaggi. Kann ich hier nicht? Hier ist kein Zimmer offen. Da auch nicht. George Washington. Ist George Washington. Let no one disturb me. I'm busy. Too bad. I'll see him later. Okay. That's the door to Elizabeth's room. Elizabeth Adams. For God's sakes, what happened in here? Whoa. Okay. Wer stellt den Kerzen auf den Boden? Macht doch kein Mensch. A chest with a half circle pattern. Mhm. Mm. An untutored hand copied these notes. Looks like a healing method. Well, that's a pity. The writing is barely legible. We nehmen sie erstmal mit. Looks like I found a box containing some kind of white crystals. Kristalle verzehren, komm. Well, see what it tastes like. Oh my god, ich werde sterben. Uh, I really need to stop tasting everything I find now. <lacht> Erschöpft, du hast gerade eine Immunität festgestellt. Ein Konzentrationspunkt kann nicht mehr verwendet werden. Nimm Gold Elixieren, um dich zu heilen. Great, honey. Ich schläf hier noch ab. Was macht sie denn hier für ein krankes Zeug? My dear Elizabeth, I'm writing to inform you of some unfortunate news. We won't be able to meet as planned on the first Sunday of May. I've been told that you're no better. And, unfortunately, your brothers and I are absolutely snowed under by the work required to govern this new country. Please, excuse us. As soon as we can get free, even if it's just for a day, I promise we shall come and see you. Your loving father, John Adams. P.S. Don't hold it against your mother if she still isn't ready. Please don't judge her. I'm sure you'll be able to put all of this behind you one day. Ich lese jetzt auch nochmal vor. Liebste Elisabeth, äh, zu meinem Bedauern muss ich dir mitteilen, dass wir uns nicht wie geplant am ersten Sonntag im Mai treffen können. Man sagte mir, es gehe dir nicht besser und deine Brüder und ich haben leider alle Hände voll damit zu tun, dieses neue Land zu regieren. Bitte vergib uns, ich verspreche, dass wir dich so schnell wie möglich besuchen werden, selbst wenn es nur für einen Tag ist. Dein dich liebender Vater, John Adams. PS, bitte nimm es deiner Mutter nicht übel, sie ist noch nicht so weit, bitte verurteile sie nicht. Eines Tages wirst du sicherlich mit allen abschließen können. Okay, das ist ziemlich hart. Wir sehen uns nicht selber im Spiegel. Sie hat hier echt einen auf Beobachtung. A novel of the initiation of a young woman into polite society. June 11th, 1791. My dear Elizabeth, your last letter gave me much cause for concern. Your words were so cold, as if emotions no longer matter to you. Father maintains that the secondary effects of your treatment 
still trouble you, but that they will soon subside. Should I believe him? I cling to the belief that we shall soon see each other again, at long last, right soon. Your loving sister, Abigail. P.S. Don't forget to tell me what present you want. 11. Juni 1791, liebste Elisabeth, dein letzter Brief hat mir Anlass zur großer Sorge gegeben. Deine Worte waren so kalt, so als würden äh, dir Gefühle nichts mehr bedeuten. Vater ist weiterhin der Ansicht, dass dich die Nebenwirkungen in deiner Behandlung plagen. Aber auch, dass sie bald abklingen. Soll ich ihm Glauben schenken? Ich klammere mich an die Hoffnung, dass wir uns bald wiedersehen. Endlich, schreib mir bald. Deine dich liebende Schwester Abigail. PS, vergiss nicht, mir zu sagen, was du als Geschenk möchtest. Okay, Brüder, Schwester, aha. Uh -huh. August 24th, 1792. Elizabeth, I am driven to despair and doubt there is any point in writing to you. I'm not even sure you'll receive my letters. Father controls my correspondence more and more. I am certain he filters our exchanges. Thankfully, one of the chambermaids is able to help me get my letters to you. But they still remain unanswered. I often think about you and pray every day be able to hold you tight. We have so much time to make up. I beg you, answer me, please. Your loving sister, Abigail. P.S. That horrible woman came again yesterday. She spent a long time speaking with father. I didn't understand everything because they spoke in French, but I'm sure they were talking about you. August 1792, Elisabeth, ich bin der Verzweiflung nah und frage mich, ob es etwas bringt, dir zu schreiben. Ich weiß nicht einmal, ob du meine Briefe erhältst. Vater kontrolliert meine Korrespondenz mehr und mehr. Ich bin mir sicher, dass er Briefe zurückhält. Glücklicherweise kann äh, dir eines der Zimmermädchen meine Briefe zukommen lassen. Sie bleiben jedoch nicht immer unbeantwortet. Ich denke oft an dich und bitte jeden Tag, dich fest äh, umarmen zu können. Wir haben so viel Zeit nachzuhören. Ich flehe dich an, bitte antworte mir. Deine dich liebende Schwester Abigail, PS, äh, diese schreckliche Frau ist hier gestern wieder aufgetaucht. Sie hat sich lange mit Vater unterhalten. Ich habe nicht alles verstanden, weil sie auf Französisch sprachen, aber ich bin mir sicher, dass es um dich ging. Mhm. Dann kann ich nie raus. Ja. War schon sehr interessant, muss ich ja zugeben. Aber ich werde erstmal noch mal gucken. Hier kann ich nicht rein. Hier auch nicht. Hier auch nicht. That must be the door to the room of the soldier I saw in my vision. Ah, Napoleon. Das hatte sich jetzt so ein Kratz angehört. Ich dachte jetzt, ne? Er wäre hier. The Prince by Machiavelli. A perfect greed for anyone with a surfeit of ambition. Hm, that might come in handy. Suchen wir erstmal alles hier. Warum? Die kann ich mir alle nicht angucken, die Bilder. Komischerweise, ne? Doch jetzt. Hannibal crossing the Alps. Another military success. Why do I get nothing but visions of horror in my room? And he gets victory after victory? Honey, I couldn't have hoped for better. The 
Battle of Alexander at Issus, or how Alexander the Great triumphed over King Darius. Yet another one with delusions of grandeur. Carmelite water. They say that if you drink this, it gives you a real boost. My dearest son, I'm writing to implore you to act quickly. The situation is rapidly worsening here. Powali continues to steer our motherland, Corsica, toward open warfare between France and England. His men are everywhere. We are obliged to go into hiding and are unable to remain in the same place for more than two days. I wouldn't be surprised if they targeted us soon. Make haste, my son. You hold our destiny in your hands. Your loving mother, Maria Letizia Bonaparte. Mein liebster Sohn, ich schreibe dir, um dich zu bitten, schnell zu handeln. Die Lage hier verschlechtert sich zusehends. Paoli steuert unser Mutterland Korsika, äh, Korsika weiterhin in einen offenen Krieg zwischen Frankreich und England. Seine Männer sind überall, wir sind gezwungen unterzutauchen und können nicht länger als zwei Tage am selben Ort bleiben. Ich wäre nicht überrascht, wenn sie uns bald ins Visier nehmen. Beeil dich, mein Sohn, du hältst unser Schicksal in deinen Händen. Deine dich liebende Mutter, Maria Letizia Bonaparte. Okay. Bicorn decorated with a cocaine. It must belong to a French soldier. A fragment of amber. French actor Talma is Nero and Britannicus, the last emperor of the Caesar dynasty. Vercingetorix throws down his arms at the feet of Julius Caesar by Royer, two great army chiefs. Ah. Und dann nehmen wir das Gold, Alex, hier doch einfach mal. My dear Napoleon, as previously agreed, I would like to ask you to join us in January on my island to participate in the high society meeting organized for the occasion. We shall be able to continue our discussion about our project for a new order for France. I have a proposition to make to you concerning your wish to put a strong leader at the head of France. I trust you to be discreet as to your coming. See you soon. Lord William Mortimer. <clears throat> Mein teurer Napoleon, wie bereits vereinbart, möchte ich Sie bitten, dass Sie uns im Januar auf meiner Insel besuchen und an einem zu diesem Zweck veranstalteten Beisammensein teilnehmen. Wir können dann unser Ges unsere Gespräche bezüglich einer neuen Ordnung in Frankreich fortsetzen. Ich habe Ihnen in Bezug auf Ihren Wunsch, einen starken Führer an der Spitze Frankreichs zu in äh, installieren, einen Vorschlag zu machen. Ich vertraue darauf, dass Sie Ihr Kommen geheim halten. Ich freue mich, Sie bald zu sehen. Lord William Mortimer. Okay. Ja, das war's. Mehr habe ich hier nicht. Oh, doch. A Greek drachma, one of the rare ancient coins to be mentioned both in the Bible and in the Koran. So. Wer macht denn dieses Geräusch? Might be better to take a different stairway. Duchess Emily Hillsborough. Duke Manuel Godoy. Kann ich auch nicht. Okay. Dann kann ich ja jetzt nach unten gehen eigentlich. Da jetzt einige Zimmer durchsucht. Brauche ich nur noch eine Treppe nach unten. Ja, die kann ich nicht gehen. Ach, das auch noch. Ah, das ist ja die Treppe. Nach oben. Stimmt. Oh, 
Oh. Ja, wir. Excuse me, Monsieur de Richet. Mm -hmm. I really need to talk to you. Is this about last night? No, that was just a misunderstanding. I'm sure it was a little bit my fault too. There's no excuse for that man's horrible behavior. You ought to tell Sir Holm. Look, the only thing that I care about is that I've lost something precious. I'm not worried about Jack Peru. You didn't happen to lose this, did you? Where did you find it? In the small salon. It's the only reminder I have of my beloved sister. I thought that swine stole it from me. You're her son, Sarah de Richet's son. Yes, why? Last night, I found out that your mother was on the island. What are you doing here? My mother came here to do business with Lord Mortimer, but she seems to have gone missing, <clears throat> so I'm here to find her. I know your mother very well. Um, sag, dass du Bescheid weißt. Was meinen sie? Really? Yes. I have been in your mother's care ever since I was born. She nursed you. Oh, I wouldn't say nursed. No, I remember her stare, cold as ice. Her sadistic hands pressing over my mouth to silence me while I screamed in pain. I remember her knees, too. She held me down with them while she cut and burned scars into me. Okay. Hold on a minute. What do you mean? You can ask her when you see her. Huh, she's getting more and more agitated. And next you're going to tell me my mother's also responsible for that scar on your head? My heart stopped twice during the operation. I lost my memory for six months. You obviously have no idea of the abuse your mother inflicted on me. Wait. There must be some kind of mistake. My only mistake was ever meeting your mother. She's able to describe every detail without hesitation or getting flustered. It's becoming difficult not to believe the poor girl. Look, I've... I've got to go. Wait. I need to know more about you and my mother. Why did she put you through all of that? There must be some reason for what she did. What's the point of rubbing salt in the wounds? Oh, damit sie sich die anvertrauen kann, ein sanftes Vorgehen. Ein sanftes. You're right. I I don't want this conversation to turn into an interrogation. You've suffered enough already. I I respect your silence. Please excuse me. Well, Thank you. I know your little game. You're no different from the rest of them. You couldn't give a damn about me. The only thing you're interested in is finding out about your mother. Don't say that. Not, not everyone wants to use you. Some people care about you, don't they? Haven't you got a sister? Yes. I'm sure she loves you with all her heart. Yeah, Tutsi. She's the only one who cares about me. I would have put an end to it all by now if it weren't for her. Since you insist, I'll tell you how I met your mother. Thanks for trusting me. You see, before I was born, my mother often suffered from hallucinations and fits of anger. Soon people could barely recognize her. She became a completely different person. So my father spent an enormous amount of money paying for the best doctors, but none of them were able to cure her. The last resort was to call a priest. So, is that what your father did? No. He went to an expert in the occult. Ah, my mother. Her reputation already extended beyond our borders. My mother's fit stopped at my birth, and Sarah de Richet concluded that the evil had passed into me. Not only did it encourage her to stay, but she took the opportunity to advise my father to separate me from the rest of my family. That's how I was declared stillborn. My fate was decided that very day. It would coincide with my mother's frequent trips to America. I had my first fit when I was three. That's when your mother began her experiments to rid me of the evil inside. I understand how you feel, but I know my mother. I'm sure she had her reasons, even if it seems difficult to believe. Everything she put me through was all for nothing. My whole life was ruined for nothing. So what brings you here then? My father used to know Sir Holm. He offered to introduce me to the world's leading authority in the occult. 
Lord Mortimer. He was my last hope. Until I found out he had also invited your mother. It's got to be a coincidence. I don't believe for a second she's come here for you. You can't change my mind about this, Louis. My days are numbered, and I know it. Läuft die barfuß rum. Das ist schon krass, was sie da erzählt hat. Also es scheint die Mutter von ihm doch nicht so ein Engelchen zu sein, sagen wir mal. Ich muss irgendwie in diese Tür rein. Da kann ich nicht rein. What can I do for you, sir? I am at your service day and night, sir. Uh, über das Anwesen. Erdgeschoss. Yes. Can you briefly describe the ground floor, please? Very well, sir. On the ground floor, there are mainly living rooms. Sir finds himself at present in the Grand Hall. From the Grand Hall, Sir can access, on one side, the small salon where the guests like to relax with a good book. From there, Sir can access the conference room which is closed at present for preparations. That is where Lord Mortimer likes to gather all of his guests for talks. From the other side of the Grand Hall, Sir may access the dining room. That is where Sir's meals will be served. From the dining room, Sir may benefit from an exceptional view overlooking the island. It is also the best way to access the portrait gallery, where a large part of Lord Mortimer's works are exhibited. And in the gallery, Sir will also find access to the garden. But Sir may be reassured, the building is accessible on both sides, so that it surrounds the garden in question. So, Sir should not find cause to worry. No one has ever gotten lost. Yeah, except for my mother. Has Sir another question? What's on the first floor? The first floor is reserved for guests, sir. That is where sir will find his private rooms. The main corridor leads around the building. Three stairways will enable sir to return to the ground floor. It is also from there that sir will be able to reach the second floor. Thank you very much. Anything else, sir? Yes. What can I find on the second floor? That floor is strictly reserved for Lord Mortimer, sir. In the west wing, on the second floor, are his private chambers. In the east wing, are the rooms reserved for Lord Mortimer's personal guests. At the moment, these rooms are reserved for Sir Holm, sir. But only authorized guests may access that area. Does sir have any more questions? What is outside on the island, exactly? Lord Mortimer has made a point of keeping the main part of the island in its natural state, sir. For security reasons, only the wharves and the gardens are accessible to guests. If sir would like to walk along the wharves, he has only to follow the pathway used upon his arrival. If he would like to walk in the interior gardens of the manor, I would advise sir to pass through the portrait gallery. May I help, sir, in any other way? Uh, Gastgeber. I would like to speak about your master, Lord Mortimer. Do please excuse me, sir, but I shall make no comment about my master. Is there anything else that sir would like to know? What can you tell me about the guests? Do excuse me, sir. But I am bound by discretion to say nothing about Lord Mortimer's guests, sir. Perhaps sir uh, would like to know something else? As I was unable to bring my personal effects with me, I was wondering if you could find me a few items. Of course, sir. What would you require? Uh, Bernstein, Bernstein, Buch, Bernstein. My good fellow, would you have any amber available? I would. But unfortunately, I don't think I am authorized to give it out, sir. Ah. I believe it is a precious stone. 
austricksen und bestehlen. Oh, fünf Stück, ey. Meine, nee, nee, kostet ja nichts, oder? Well, no point in lying, you know. I know full well you haven't got any. I would never think of lying, sir. I don't believe I am authorized to give it away. That is all. Amber? Here? I'd be surprised. Yet, I assure you, sir. No, you're pulling my leg. I don't believe you. I wouldn't dare to joke with, sir. Yeah, sure. You're just leading me on. I dare you to show it to me, if you really have some. Well, then, sir, here is a piece. Ah, right. Well, I'm impressed. Can you lend it to me for a minute? Of course, sir. Here. Wow. I can hardly believe it. Well, I have other questions. Of course, sir. But, sir, I believe you haven't given me back the amber, sir. What? What amber? The piece I gave to, sir. No, I don't know what you're talking about. You really ought to look after your things. It can't be easy to come across amber in these parts. Ah. Um, well, does sir desire anything else? <laughs> Voll verarscht. Oh, I still haven't quite recovered after that boat crossing. Would you happen to have any devil's thorn by any chance? I, I am sorry, sir, but the devil's thorn may be just a plant, but it is also a powerful psychotropic drug that causes undesirable diuretic effects. I would advise against, sir, taking any. Ich kenne die Wirkung. Hm. Scheiße. Ah, ich warte noch, weil was ist mit Gold Elixir? You wouldn't have a little golden elixir I could use, would you? Oh, unfortunately, sir. I have orders not to give any of that medicine to any of Lord Mortimer's guests. Some guests are here to follow a very strict treatment. Mixing or combining certain substances would be dangerous for sir. Oh. Okay, pass auf, ich mache das jetzt erstmal hier weg, weil ich sowieso damit jetzt nichts anfangen kann. Und ich muss jetzt eh Schluss machen und sag dann schon mal Tschüss, bis zum nächsten Mal.